This is the last video of the series How to connect Suprema devices into Biostar 2 software. Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to search the device, set IP address and then connect it to the Biostar 2. In the earlier videos, we have shown how to search and add the device, then how to add the device by advanced search and then we have also seen how we can set the device so that device is automatically detecting into the software in order to get added. So this particular option where we are seeing we can search the device, set IP address and then we can connect it to the Biostar 2. So this particular option is mostly used with the devices that doesn't have a display. Like you have seen Biontree W2, then Biontree P2, Xpass 2 and also the upcoming device which is Bioentry W3. For any of the Suprema devices, one thing you must know that in Suprema there is no any default IP address in, into the devices. All the devices are by default on DHCP. So if the network in which device is connected, if it has a DHCP server available and once the device is get connected into the network, device will automatically get an IP address and when you search it, you will be able to see the device automatically just like we have seen in the regular search and in the advanced search. But in those cases when there is a no DHCP server available in the network, that means you manually need to enter the IP into the devices. If it's a device with display, it's very easy. Sim you can simply just go to the device menu and enter the IP address. But for the devices that doesn't have a display, you need to connect the device directly with your system. As you already know that by default device is on DHCP and it is directly connected with the system. What you need to do, you also need to ensure that your system is also on DHCP. So what you need to do, you simply just click on window R, type ncpa.cpl Go to the network setting in which device is connected. In my case, it is this Ethernet. Right click on it. Go to properties. Go to Internet Protocol version 4. Here you have to set it on obtain an IP address automatically. And similarly click on this obtain DNS server automatically too. Make it OK. Make it OK. And what you can do, you just simply disable it once and then enable it. As the network is disabled and device is directly connected with the system and it is on DHCP, so your Biostar 2 URL may not work. Just like in my case you see, this particular URL is not working. Just because my system IP is changed. So what you need to do, you have to use the loopback IP address or the local host following up the port. Now as everything is set, go to the device. Click on this search option again, wait for a while, you will see the device here. Like this, if you have multiple devices in the network, you will be able to see all the devices here. You see, it says the DHCP fail. That means the IP address for device has received is not a valid IP address. In my case, this is the Face Station F2 and this device has a display for sure, but I am not touching the device even for setting up the IP address. Even if we select it, we cannot add it. But when I select it, we see this option highlighted that is set IP. So what we have to do, select the device, click on this set IP address, remove the tick mark from this use DHCP. Now put the IP address whatever you want. Put the subnet mask. Now put the gateway. Now similarly if you want to set the device for the device to server connection, you can put the server IP here as well or you can simply disable the server and you can use the search and advanced search option. So what I am going to do, I am going to enter the server IP here so that I don't need to do search or advanced search, device will automatically come into the waiting device.
Once the IP is set, you can connect back device into the actual network and now you can do search or advanced search but in our case, device will be showing here in the waiting device. Here comes the device. You can simply select it or you can simply right click on this device and click on add waiting device. That's it. This was the last video of the series how to connect devices. In the all four videos, we have seen how to search the device, how to do advanced search, how to set the device so that device automatically communicate to the server. And in the last, we have seen how to connect those devices or how to set up the IP address in those devices that doesn't have a display. So now we all know how to connect the devices in all various ways. See you in the next video.